That's how you doing out there. My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the inventor of the Platinum 4K Cinema, the Fusion Silver Fusion Black, and the Future Tech 4K. Now, I told you uh, we ordered uh, some paint from an individual online. Not going to say who the screen paint was from because we're going to keep this video very respectful. But we're going to show you a very fair demonstration. Uh, I don't know how much fair you can get by basically just taking a sample sheet and putting it against your screen. Can't get no fairer than that. So this right here is a black version of their screen paint right here. Painted it on a piece of a cloth or, you know, for a screen. And you can see this is it right here, okay. So over here, I should have blocked the projector because I don't want you to see this shit. So we're going to block the projector right now because you're not supposed to see that. So right there on the screen, you're seeing the middle piece. That right there is the Future Tech 4K. This is our nano black screen. The larger screen behind it is some screen paint we got off Amazon. Um, that's supposed to be very professional screen paint. And this right here is a screen paint mix that we bought from somebody off of... Um, uh, online. I'm not going to say who, but you probably pretty much got a good idea who it may be. Anyway, so I'm going to show you some of the tricks they use to make a black screen look fantastic. Now, one of the things is they won't do distance because everybody knows that the farther back your projector um, and more light that your projector has to cut through, the lumens will start to drop and the picture will start to actually degrade, which means uh, the picture becomes uh, less sharper. It, it's actually more, when you actually take the projector and push it right up on the screen, the picture becomes a lot more sharper, more vivid, more color. So that's why some people just don't do the distance when it comes to the projection screen, especially when they're using a black screen. All right, so we're gonna take the black screen paint. We're gonna put it right here, because usually this is where I see it in some of these demonstrations, right up on top of the projector, not that far from the projector. And we're going to remove what's blocking the projector and show your front. This is what the screen looks like from a short distance. As I said before, the farther back the screen, the more lumens you're gonna lose considering the fact that how well lit the room is. So you see how the screen looks absolutely fantastic from here, right? It looks pretty good. I say it looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to take the same sample sheet. Get this out of the way. Remove this from the back of it. Right here, right here. I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to put it, I'm not going to show you the screen yet, put it against the nano black screen. The metal black screen right here, right here, and we're going to go back. Now mind you, I'm going to show you how far we are from the screen. We are around 15 feet from the screen, from where the projector is at. And I'm going to show you what you get from a black screen paint at 15 feet in a fully lit room. And that's what you get. Now mind you, the screen in the middle is the Future Tech Nano Black Technology screen. The larger screen it's leaning against is the screen paint we found on Amazon. And this right here is a do-it-yourself screen paint mix, which is the uh, little black screen right there in the middle. And as you can see, it looks fantastic uh, from the screen. It actually looks pretty good if you have it up close, but from a distance at 15 feet, you can see that the screen will actually fail. And this is the difference between our technology and the technology is out there on the market and some of these do-it-yourself screen paints just don't stack up. This is why when you see some of these demonstrations, the projector is literally sitting right up on top of the screen. And just to show you that we're not doing any form of 4K upscaling, I'm going to show you. Okay, if I can get my projector, I mean my um, laptop to work right. I had it running for quite a bit down here. So I can go over. It might have froze a little bit. Here we go. Show you what we have our we're running our settings in. Alright, so we're running our sevens and our settings in 720p, so there's no 1080p, no 4 scale, no 4K upscaling, none of that here. We don't have any of that here. We're running it on 720p, and as you can see from a distance, 
how our screen looks versus the uh, the black background screen. Have you seen the black screen right there around it? The Amazon screen paint, and then you have the do-it-yourself screen paint mix. All right, now we're going to come out of here, and we're going to go into a uh, snow steam. See, I'm going to bring some color up on here too, and bring some color on here really quick. Let's go back a few steps. So we'll bring some color in here. All right, so let's go over here real quick so you can see this. There's the nano black. And there is the do-it-yourself mix. There you go, people. Seeing is believing. Do this next under a I'm gonna pause this come out of here real quick. Okay. And we're gonna go over to and I like to do the snow scene. Snow scene really shows exactly the performance of the screen. Like I said, a lot of people that are doing these screen paint mixes will shy away from these demonstrations because they do know the outcome of their screen that it will not do well. All right, so now we got the snow scene. So as you can see, projector is 15 feet back. There's the nano black. As you can see, look at the white levels on it compared to the Amazon screen paint. The screen paint we got from Amazon, it's not actual Amazon screen paint. And there right there is the black screen paint. Now I'm gonna go back here. I wanna grab my piece of cardboard. And I'm going to take the black screen paint off. My screen paint. Uh... Oh, and uh, for those of you that uh, I had one person come in and add a comment by saying against your screen paint, uh, sorry, you are mistaken, my friend. Um, the uh, Future Tech is not a screen paint. It's not even a screen paint, my friend. You're way off. It's a projection screen, but it's not a screen paint. All right. Now we're going to take the screen right here and we're going to put it close up on the projector. Like I said, like they do in these demonstrations, they put the screen close up on the, on the uh, projector. All right. We're going to step back. Now you can see right there. It's a big difference. Got to do a distance on that screen. You got to put that screen, and if you put it right here, you can see that. And this is something they rarely would do is the color test. But they think because you see some form of white on the screen, on the black screen, that this is actually pure white, and it's not pure white. It's kind of a dingy gray. And that's what it is. Now, come over here, and we'll remove this out of the way. Where our screen is at. All right, step back. There's our screen, that's white. Okay, now we'll remove and get the sample sheet right here. This is the black screen paint we ordered online. I guess we'll call it cinema black because that's pretty much I think what they call it. And that's what you get. Now this is why I say that, look man, if you're going to do a professional home theater setup or basically you want the best out of your projector, you have to be really careful about dealing with uh, untested screen paints, uh, projection screens that just have not been properly tested. Um, you should be able to test your screen. You should have demonstrations showing your screen in fully lit environments, uh, different forms of projectors, uh, different forms of sample sheets, everything, just to show off how good your screens are. When you look at a screen paint that majority hides in the dark, majority most of the time, uh, that's a good indication of a red flag that there's something wrong there. If they're using 4K upscaling, 1080p projectors, and a lot of the projectors we have are old and outdated projectors to show that our screens look amazing even on a crappy projector. Let me come over here and get this, this really quick. I'm gonna add a really bright divot. 
uh, color uh, demonstration in here. Let's just grab something out. Got a few videos here. Okay, so we're going to grab this. Okay. Like I said, you have to really do your, your research when it comes to a lot of these untested screen paints. I'm going to do some color. So I'm just going to add just do this really short video on some color. I've done this one many times before just to just give you a good idea exactly what you're really dealing with. Okay. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'm Kenneth from Crystal Edge, the Platinum 4K Cinema Screens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration on our Future Tech screen. Just so you guys will know that the Future Tech is not a screen paint or a blackout cloth. It is a physical projection screen. Hope you guys enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching. And be careful what you buy because it might not seem the same way. It might seem different on, on YouTube, but when you get it home, it's a whole nother story. Like I said, you have to do these tests properly. You have to do them. You have to prove that your product can do what it can do. And if not, then you're left with these kind of results. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video on our amazing feature tech, the 47AG. Thank you all.